Hey folks, this is TMB888 from HookahPro.com bringing you a review today on Nakla Cherry. I don't really know where to start with this. This has always been one of my all-time favorite flavors of all time, ever. Yeah, I know. It, you have to be really redundant with it to prove the point. But um, everything about this flavor I like. Um, and some people may disagree with me, but I mean, well, I, okay, I'll stop rambling. Setup-wise, got my KM yellow pear. Uh, just using an Egyptian bowl, I kind of prefer that as opposed to like a, a funnel or a vortex as far as Nakla is concerned, uh, you know, due to the uh, dryer cut. Um, one downside to my setup is that I am currently out of coconuts, which means I am stuck with Exoticas, which suck as far as coals are concerned. And I've never really done this before. Uh, the bowl is significantly overpacked at the moment, um, which is great because it tastes great. But I have a feeling the exoticas are going to be kind of bitchy with the whole overpacking process. Uh, Coconars work so much better. It's not even a competition. Um, anyways, moving on. Uh, I don't really know where to start. If you see me looking to the left, I got a little notepad over here, little bullet points on it to tell me what to talk about. Uh, the reason this is my favorite flavor is because I've always wanted a really, really realistic cherry flavor. And that's why I bought this flavor at first, thinking it would be a realistic cherry flavor. It's not. Well, it is and it's not. It's got a lot of really realistic cherry flavor to it, but on the other spectrum, it does have a lot of tobacco flavor to it, which seems to occur with a lot of knuckle flavors, including this one, which I just said, which is completely redundant again. My bad. <laughs> Anyways, um... This stuff has just always been really great. Uh, you know, I've only ever recently been into overpacking it, but but it's really, really good. One thing that you need to watch out with this shisha is that it will ghost the crap out of whatever hookah you're using, uh, which is why I have a specific hose for it. In this case, just a typical KM hose that actually came with this yellow pear hookah. Um, I don't really use any of my Nemours with it, although they are washable. Uh, it still seems like they're impossible to de-ghost, so I have a specific hose for this flavor and this flavor alone. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess I'll show you, you know, smoke volume and whatnot. <laughs> Obviously some fairly decent clouds. Um, like I said, I mean, it's just got a great flavor. Uh, this was first recommended to me by a former, uh, by a former Hookah Pro member, Nick. I'm sure you all remember him. He's pretty big, pretty big uh, pillar in our site, I would say. Um, and I was a little skeptical about it at first because there's always that issue that people have with cherry flavors where they expect them to taste like cough medicine. And this does not at all to me. I've, you know, a couple of my friends say it does, but, you know, I've, I was one of those children who was always tortured by the cough medicines, and this doesn't taste like cough medicine to me at all. It tastes wonderful. I don't know. Everything about it I love. Um, like I said, it does have a lot of tobacco flavor to it, but to me, that's, that's really, really awesome, in my opinion. Um, it will buzz you quite a bit if you're not used to Nakla. Uh, in my case, I've, I've been around Nakla for quite a while now, uh, and it'll still buzz me a little bit, I'll be honest, but, you know, not as much as it used to. I couldn't even smoke this stuff without vomiting immediately afterwards. And that's not hoovering the hose either. That's with pacing myself, I would still get really sick from it. So, I mean, it does take a, a fairly good amount of, um, nicotine tolerance to handle this. Or not handle it, but I mean, just enjoy it, I would say. Um, other than that, as far as, uh, overpacking it, even when it's not overpacked, it can be a little bit heat sensitive, so be careful about that. Um, my technique is, you know, I'll throw the coals on when it's overpacked, listen to it sear, make sure the top layer gets nice and seared, then I'll take the coals off for maybe a minute or two, um, and just let it cool down a bit, make sure that top seared layer gets nice and crusted, and then I'll throw the coals back on. Uh, in the times when I'm not overpacking it, uh, typically, I just use two coconaras and a wind cover. Uh, some people say Nakla can handle a lot of heat, and maybe that's true, but to me, I've never noticed it. Um, and that's, you know, 
with a lot of shishas, I'll use three coconars in a wind cover. This one I won't because it does seem to be a little bit more heat sensitive. It will get harsh a little bit easier, and I think that's partially due to the tobacco itself being so dry. Actually, you know what? Let me go grab you the jar. I forgot to show you guys the cut of it. I will be back. All right. I had to run to my kitchen for a sec. I don't have a whole lot of this stuff left, which is really disappointing. Crap. Didn't realize that until now. But um, I don't know if you can see in here, but it's real dry. Not really any moisture to it whatsoever. Uh, it's sticky, though. It's very moist. Uh, you can see it glistening on my fingers. Um, there's always, always, you know, the crazy Nakla tree branches. That's going to happen with any Nakla you buy. Uh, don't let don't let those turn you off from this company because they're wonderful. And this flavor in particular is just wonderful. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. Maybe some of you guys will think it tastes like cough medicine. I personally don't. And if you guys enjoy a little bit of tobacco flavor along with whatever flavor it's intended to be, then this is for you. This is a really realistic cherry flavor with an awesome tobacco undertone to it. And I love everything about it. That's about all I have to say about it. Thanks, thanks you guys for watching. This is TMV8888 from hookahpro.com. See you guys later.